Hey look, it's GTA 6. We're gonna get GTA 6, I'm so excited. Hacking computer files, wait what? <laughs> Your system has been locked and you have to follow the rules. Do not open the task manager. Do not open the control alt delete. Do not shutting off your system. Do not hack the ransomware. Do not antivirus the ransomware. If you break these rules, the system MBR will overwrite and will cause the system never boot it up again. Fatal error. System is fricked. Guess we can stop this process, but why? I mean, we want to get GTA 6, right? What is a little wait to get GTA 6? I mean, this is much faster than GTA 5 loading screen in all honesty. That one took like five days to install. I see we've got this entertaining modern RGB loading screen as well, so it's very aesthetically pleasing. I'm sure it boosts FPS too. Almost there and boom. <laughs> all right, let's see what happens here. Oh dear, critical error. The system has been completely fricked over. <laughs> That's a really cool intro to GTA 6. They've gotten really creative, guys. They've got this really nice ASCII art as well. I like the aesthetics. I think they're taking some inspiration from Cyberpunk. Oh, wait, my mouse is not working. It can't be. No, it's not ransomware, is it? Yep, we just got our MBR destroyed by another ransomware. What's interesting is I haven't seen a lot of these MBR overriding threats in a while. I don't even think this qualifies as ransomware because it doesn't really ask you for any money. So it's more of a wiper class malware. We saw some of those in the early stages of the conflict in Ukraine. But yeah, ever since Petya and Satana, I haven't really seen these threats in the wild. Now, this one was picked up by Malware Hunter team. The hash originally was a little bit difficult for me to find, but it is on Vars Total and it is on Intezer. So we are going to take a look at it. Doing an analysis of this EXE, interestingly, I don't see a lot of malicious patterns here. It just matches with WinRAR SFX for some reason. But once you go through the extraction process, if you see on the left here, Intezer has done the static extraction for us and you can see there's several packages or payloads nested inside here. So we've got the system.exe, which is will be chip MBR. So this is some sort of MBR overwriting. We've got another one with a random name. This one has a match with EFR lock. And then we have the locker.exe, which matches with IntelliLock. So nothing too special here, decently packed file. If we go to system.exe, I believe this is really the main Part of the code. If we go into capabilities, you can see we've got a lot of MITRE stuff that it matches with. We've got the system shutdown slash reboot. We've got the application window discovery querying the registry. I'm curious if we did try to open task manager, if it would try to destroy the system immediately. Now, actually, we're going to go and test that. So restored back to snapshot and we're going to rerun it. Let's give it a second to hack our computer files on <laughs> like the Windows XP window. Now I'm just gonna do a little control alt delete and see how that goes. See if we try to, oh, that didn't do anything. Let's try the task manager shortcut, control shift escape, and it doesn't seem to work, but it didn't really destroy the system any faster than it planned to, so I guess these threats are empty. I mean, technically, there is a password you can type to escape this doom that is fast befalling your system, but it doesn't tell us how to get that password. So for all intents and purposes, this is a wiper. Now, going back to our analysis of this threat, we can take a look at the Varstol report. It's detected by 50 engines as of now and matches a lot of the Yara rules on the platform. Let's see what engines detect it. Actually, most of them, which is a bit of a surprise because MBR malware typically is harder to detect sometimes. But we have got some notable exceptions here. Um, F-Secure, Zone Alarm, that's a bit of a surprise. WebRoot, Komodo. But just so I'm clear, I'm not picking on these vendors. Signatures are like that. Some vendors may miss this file. Others may miss other files. Watch the TPSC test for that. But yeah, there you have it. That's the GTA 6 ransomware or wiper, if you want to be more accurate. Three main components, restarts your system, and once it's done, 
you won't be able to boot back in. So just watch out for threats like these. Make sure you're not opening random things on Discord, especially if somebody's sharing something like games or says, hey, here's GTA 6 source code, which I think is the original like attack vector for this threat. Like somebody just said, this is GTA 6 source code. First of all, source code is not an EXE for those of you who are not into development. But in general, if anybody's sending you an EXE via Discord or some other platform, just be careful. Make sure you have good protection on your system. If you want to learn more about that, well, check out the PC Security Channel, which is what you're watching right now. We have done in-depth reviews of most of your favorite security products. Now, this video is sponsored by Intizer, the platform that allows us to do this amazing in-depth malware analysis. It makes my life so much easier, and I definitely recommend checking them out by going to analyze.intizer.com. You can set up an account for free and have full access to the community version. So hey, what are you waiting for? You don't want Whoppy Chip MBR to start chipping away at your system now, do you? It's totally operating system agnostic. That's one of the things I like about it. If you look at the headers here, it can show you that this is a PE file, meaning it's portable executable. It's coded in Delphi. It's got Enigma protector. So you've got a lot of information here. It's got the i386 instruction set. You can even look into the code of the file. So even if you're a really advanced system analyst and you're trying to delve deep into a particular threat or something you don't even know about, if you're doing advanced threat hunting operations, this is still a very valuable tool. And it's so much easier to use than something like Ida Pro. So definitely check this out. Don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it helps me out massively. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.